Welcome to vlog one. This video, I'm gonna take you on the journey to get on my new kicker core by Wahoo. So far, I have the stand set up. And right now we are on our way to Ski Hut to get the cassette taken off so I can actually have some gears on this thing and get my bike on there. Stay tuned. Just wanna say shout out to Ski Hut for hooking it all up. They always go in there and give me education and tell me how to, what I need to do and plus additional things. That's why I'll only go to Ski Hut for the rest of my bike needs, which are probably gonna be lifetime because I uh, need a lot of help. I don't, I'm not very good with my hands, but if you're in Duluth and you need a place to get a bike, always go Ski Hut. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Okay, so what Ski Hut did was they took the cassette off, so for the noobs out there like me, the cassette, the gear shifter is the cassette. Um, so they took that off, there's some special tools I needed, put it on there, um, which was originally right on here. Um, so now you can see the Bluetooth is going on there. I am um, gonna get the Wahoo app and throw the bike on there and uh, I'm hoping all is well. It's kind of hard to tell if it's on as good as it should. I use my skewer for the tire. Um, it's a little bit wobbly, but I got it on the lowest gear. And what we're going to do next is get the Wahoo app up and test and see if it's all correct. So... Got the shoes on with the Nightmare 5K socks. We're ready to go. Okay, so I've pedaled a little bit on it. It's pretty quiet, actually. This is why I bought this thing. I'm in my apartment, so I had to be quiet. Um, so now you're going to see me. I'm going to queue up Zwift here and do my first uh, Zwift ride. And uh, you'll do a little bit of video and see what it looks like riding on this thing. It's a little tippy. Um, but I think I'll get used to that and, uh, see if there's anything I can do to stabilize a little bit more. I got my gym floor here, um, so I might just be able to stack up and stabilize a little bit more, but otherwise feels pretty close to riding on the road as best I can do for now with the gyms being closed. So I'm excited about that. This is what Zwift looks like. It's pretty sweet, it tells you stuff as you're going along. Um, as you can see at the top there, I rode four miles in like 15 minutes. 
Um, I'm moving zero right now because I'm not on there. Um, but super cool. You're riding with other people. It's uh, surprisingly um, realistic. Uh, gives you the ri real ride feel, kind of fun. Did get a little bit sweaty uh, on that just introductory ride. Um, it was really fun riding with people on there. Um, there's tons of people, and it keeps telling you, motivating you to keep rolling on there, saying uh, things. Um, but overall, I really like the Wahoo uh, Kicker Core. Um, I think it was uh, worth the investment. I paid like a little over a thousand dollars with it, uh, with tax and uh, shipping. Um, but I think it's worth it because uh, the I'm riding on my bike, my Trek Trek Checkpoint SL5. Um, so I bought this this May, and I uh, really wanted to keep riding it. And uh, it feels good just to be riding on my own bike versus spin bike. Um, just get used to it. Uh, so that when I complete an Ironman on it, I'll be knowing exactly how it feels and uh, just in tune with it. Um, but overall, I'm looking forward to training on this thing throughout the winter until I can get back on the roads next summer and throw some really long rides out there. Um, but we'll stay tuned and uh, until the next video, we'll see you then.